Okay, well, welcome to the workbench. So um, we're not actually gonna be doing any work right now. I just wanted to show you the space that I was gonna be using. So we're in my garage right now and uh, the previous owners of this house were nice enough to, uh, to leave this wonderful mobile workbench. This actually is on wheels, it wheels out. And I believe that uh, the previous owner of the house made this himself, which is pretty, pretty sweet, I gotta say. I wish I was that handy, but I put a nice daylight bulb in the shop lamp here that I have, and uh, there's a light behind me, so there's plenty of light in here to do the work needed to be done. We have almost all the parts in for the build. I just wanted to go over what we already have. The last part uh, should be coming in on Monday, and I hope to do the work on Monday and Tuesday night because I have off. Uh, should be a fun time. So, first thing I'll show you is... Uh, the Steinberger gearless tuners here. Um, so this actually came in and it was completely open and four of the tuners were rolling around inside the box. So hopefully they're all right. They did look okay. They didn't really have any uh, issues. Uh, I did download some instructions and saved the, uh, I saved the page on my computer. I'll probably have my computer down here while I'm working. So if I need to look up anything on YouTube or any kind of things like that. But uh, these are the Steinberger gearless tuners. I have to loosen the screws down here and then they just kind of shoot right up through the body and that's all it is. They tune from, from down here. These, these tuning parts down here are actually what you turn to tune a guitar. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna put these back in for right now because I don't want them to roll around anymore. And yes, that is an old Apple TV box that I'm using as a guitar neck stand there. Um, beggars can't be choosers. Maybe if I work on the guitar enough times, I'll actually buy one. But those are the Steinberger tuners. Next piece of equipment that we got in are these bad boys. So what these are are actually from Scrinia Engineering. These are, let me get them in the line a little bit better for you. Take them out. So these are the actual connectors that we're going to be using to um, connect the into the Epiphone Quick Connect system. So the conductors from the pickup just go straight through these five holes here and then into there. And uh, then you get um, a couple of heat shrinks here. So you can actually just cover it all up with the heat shrink and uh, it'll suck it down and that way everything will stay in nice uh, easy formation so we're going to keep all this together not lose anything so i can just throw the stars of the show here into these so these are the pickups that we're going to be changing out the wolf tone pickups let's take a look at these bad boys They come with uh, some screws. I don't want to lose those. They're right there. And there they are. So as you can see, I got um, the zebra pickups so that they will match the zebra pickups that are in the Epiphone already. I kind of like the look of it. I kind of wrestled with uh, going with a cover, but you know, I don't know. I had a feeling like I wanted to do it that way. So uh, this is the Dr. Vintage. So this will go in the neck position and this is the Marshall head and this will go in the bridge position. And uh, basically, as you can see, the conductors are down here. I'm just gonna have to pull this heat shrink off right here. And then we're gonna cut them all to size and we're gonna feed them right through those adapters there. And we're gonna put them right in. So no soldering is required. And then we're gonna enjoy our new pickups. So, you know, the one thing I notice about these, like this, this guy basically only makes pickups. This is a Wolf Tone pickups out of Seattle. And um, you can just tell by the looks of them that there's just a workmanship that goes into it. I mean, this is all they make, you know, and there's parts of this that you're never going to see. But you can really tell a craftsman by the parts that you're not going to see, you know, the parts that are taped and the perfect tape and there's nothing really like showing and it's just you know 
It's just, it can tell you a lot about a craftsman by looking at the inside part of something that people aren't, you know, always going to see. So I find that really awesome. So I'm really looking forward to obviously hearing them. I've already recorded a bunch of songs that are going to be the before songs for the, uh, for the video that we're going to be making. So we have the before songs recorded and we're going to record a bunch of stuff after. And it's basically just me jamming and I'm going to just take bits and pieces of the, uh, bits and pieces of it. And I'm just going to put them one after another so you can hear it like real time. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. For right now, we're going to focus on the tuners, we're going to focus on the nut, and we're going to focus on the pickups. We're going to get that done, and we're going to see how the Epiphone will stack up with the Epic Phone. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.